Hey everybody and welcome back. So uh, Michigan dominates Ohio State in Columbus 45 to 23. Georgia destroys Georgia Tech. Uh, I didn't look at the final score but they it was not a game at all. Who is number one between them two teams after this week? I know uh, Georgia will probably be number one after they destroy LSU in the, the SEC championship game. And Michigan only has Purdue, probably, or someone else. Maybe Illinois, who they already beat. Uh, Iowa, is, I think, is out of it. Maybe Michigan plays Wisconsin uh, for the first time this year. That'd be cool. Um, either way, I think Michigan's in, but who else is in? Why this 12-team expansion? I hope they delay it after this season. Um, you, it's pretty evident who the two best teams are. TCU is a clear number three as well. Right now they're dominating Iowa State, uh, four and seven team, but they're in and their quality of, um, work, the teams they've played, the quality of teams is, is good. They are number one, I believe, in my latest resume ranking. That will change here coming up. Michigan's going to get a huge boost in that. But you, uh, Clemson lost, so they're out. Uh, ACC as a whole is out. Big 12 is out if TCU loses the conference championship game. And the Pac-12 is out. If they lose, if USC loses to Notre Dame, they'll have two losses at that point. And Notre Dame winning that game helps Ohio State uh, with their uh, quality of win there. They beat Notre Dame. So um, I think two Big Ten teams. I, like I said, win or lose, I thought it would have been a close game, but Clemson going down, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's the possibility of two Big Ten teams, though, like I predicted in the preseason. I thought two SEC teams as well, and Georgia is in. If LSU beats Georgia, they're both in. So there you go, SEC Big Ten um, uh, playoff is – Kind of impending. I thought it would be Alabama, Georgia, or Alabama and Georgia, and Michigan, Ohio State. Turns out it might be Michigan, Ohio State, and Georgia and LSU. Alabama with a couple of late game losses on the last play. But what a great season we have had so far, Michigan. I'm still kind of jittery from that. That win, you know, it's a shock to the system. First time Michigan beat Ohio State in Columbus since I was 10 years old. I've watched all, all of them. My first uh, memory of Michigan football, I was seven years old. And I was old enough to start getting into watching the games. And the first one, of course, was the uh, Rose Bowl where Michigan won the national championship. People like to say we split it with Nebraska, whatever. We won. And I was hooked ever ever since then. And, you know, the last, next couple of years through the 2000s, even through 2006, the last 1-2 matchup versus Ohio State and Michigan uh, through under Lloyd Carr were great seasons, good seasons. And then, you know, Michigan went through the um, dark ages basically, of the whole program. The longest stretch without a Big Ten title. And we got it last year, and now we're looking to get it again. I'm so proud of this team and, and, and uh, Coach Harbaugh for sticking around, taking that pay cut, turning this team around. He's, what, 25-2 and two now since the COVID year. Just got a win at Ohio State. Are they number one? Is Michigan number one now after this week on Tuesday when the uh, new college football playoff ranking comes out? It's possible, but 
they'll give it, they'll turn around and give it right back to Georgia if they beat LSU. So, you know, and why it's important is because I think the number one team gets to decide the um, the bowl game that they're in. And we don't want to be in Atlanta, even though we're not going to play Georgia. Unless they lose, we could play Georgia, but then we will have the number one seed. So a lot of things to figure out. Conference championships games, like I said, uh, Clemson, North Carolina, they both have multiple losses now. Um, TCU versus Kansas State or Texas, multiple losses on their end. TCU wins, they're in. USC's got to win out, and they're in. Uh, but they have Notre Dame tonight, and in the Pac-12 championship game, they're going to play a darn good team. There's six darn good teams in the Pac-12. And the SEC and Big Ten, I think it's possible they get two. So <laughs> roundabout way of saying go blue <laughs> and have a great night, everybody.